All right, welcome IED, Intro to Engineering Design. Uh, this is Mr. Cisneros. I am going to show you how to use Onshape. Onshape is an app on the iPad that has the ability to 3D model. We're going to be using Onshape to help us 3D model, create STLs, which are going to help us 3D print, and create DXFs, uh, which are going to help us laser engrave. So this app is going to be coming in handy for our design and our fabrication of anything that we want to make. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Onshape first. Onshape, you can see, is on this page here at the bottom row. It's called Onshape, and it's a blue icon with the word on on it. So I'm going to tap on that. And when you first download it, you might need to make an account. When you do make an account, make it with your school email. Once you have that um, account made, then when you open it up, it should show something like this where you have your on shape recently open, created by me, public tutorials, all that stuff. What I want you to do when you first open this up, have it ready to go on the bottom right, you can see there's this blue circle with a plus on it. That's what I want you to press because that's going to create a new document or a new file. So when I press on that, it's going to ask, okay, we're making a new document. What do you want to name it? Let's get in the habit of naming all of our documents with our initials first and then an underscore. So I'm going to go to the one, two, three button and then the symbol button. And then it's right here underneath the uh, number four and five. That's the underscore. And then I'm going to name this. Let's see. Let's call this. Um, hammer head because we are going to be making a hammer to start this off so hammerhead initials underscore hammerhead I'm going to click OK and right here this is what shows up this is our 3D modeling uh, environment this is where we're going to be able to 3D model our parts this is what will show up every time you open up a brand new document when you open a brand new document, you're going to see these kind of squares, right? They're labeled front, right, and top. These are called planes. And in order to start your 3D model, you do have to start um, drawing a sketch. You need to start a sketch on one of these planes. So the one that I always start on, no matter what, almost no matter what, is the front plane. And that's what I'm going to start on today. So the way that I start my sketch on that front plane is by, if you guys can see the top left of my screen, there's a pen and then there's a sphere. The pen is the sketch tool. The sphere is the 3D tool. So think the pen, think about the pen as being like a 2D tool. And think about the sphere as being a 3D tool. Um, so we're going to start with the sketch, the 2D tool, sketch. We're going to press the pen. When I press the pen, it's going to say in orange at the top, it's going to say select a plane, face, or surface to sketch on. So this is the plane that I have to pick. Um, I'm going to pick the front plane. So I'm going to tap on the front, and now it creates a sketch on that front plane. When I do press on that front plane, the 2D tool or the sketch tool is opening up, and it has all these different uh, tools that I can use that are 2D, right? Uh, I got the line tool, rectangle, circle, arc, ellipse, spline, point, all these um, 2D tools that I can use. The one that I want to use first is the corner rectangle. Not center point, but corner rectangle. It's the second one right here. I'm going to tap on that. And now what I have the ability to do is draw that rectangle on the front plane. And you can see that um, going around that front plane is actually our sketch one. So we can confirm like, yes, sketch one is going to be on that front plane. Now I see a lot of uh, squares. I kind of want to get rid of those things for now. So if you see on the left hand side, you can see these eyes, these um, eyeballs. If you tap on them, they'll remove some of your planes. So the ones that you probably want to remove right now are the ones you're not using. I would remove the right plane by tapping on that eye, I would remove the top plane by tapping on the eye. The ones that I would leave on there are the plane that I'm using and then the origin. 
the origin point is this little black dot in the middle that you see. You're always going to want to start your sketch on the origin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on that black dot. You can see I got that little orange. Once I tap on it, that lets on shape know that that's where I want my rectangle to start. After I've tapped that once, now I can tap on it and hold, tap and hold, and what I'm able to do is drag my finger while I'm holding to form a rectangle. And you can see that the start of the rectangle is on the origin. That's important. You always want your sketch to start on the origin. So here I'm just going to randomly release my, re uh, my rectangle. doesn't matter what size it is right now. I'm just going to randomly release it. So I'm going to let go of my finger off the screen and I have a rectangle. But the, rec the thing about that is the rectangle, I have no idea what the size of it is. How big is that rectangle? I have no idea. The way I can find out is I can go back to my t uh, 2D tool. My 2D tool or the pen tool here up at the top left, if I tap on that, you can see like the, the rectangle tool is still there. But the one that I want to use is going to be lower. It's going to be this one right here, dimension. Okay, so I'm going to tap on dimension. When I do, all I have to do is tap on one of the lines of the squares. Um, so right here on this square, I can tap this one, and you'll see it lets me know, hey, that's 2.464. I want it to be a nice number, so I'm going to tap on that, 2.464. And when I do tap on it, this little menu comes up, and it lets me choose exactly how big I want it to be, which is going to be 2 inches. I'm going to hit 2, and then I'm going to hit the check mark, and now that made it 2. But now, like, what about, that's the height, what about the width? So look. On the top left, you can see I'm still in the dimension tool. You can see how the to the right of that sphere, that dimension tool still exists. It's still active. That's good. All I have to do is tap on my next line. I don't have to go back to 2D mode to the 2D menu to find dimension. It's already selected. So I can go and tap this. That's 1.96. I tap on that, and I change that to 2. Enter. So now I have a two by two square, which is really nice. Now that I'm done with this sketch, I'm happy with this sketch, now I can think about, okay, how do I make this 3D? Well, I use the 3D tool, right? The 3D tool is that sphere next to the pen. So if I tap on that, I have two options, and it's gonna be extrude or revolve. Now, I can't really revolve this right now instead i'm going to do extrude and extrude just think about that as taking that square and pulling it pulling it to make um a, like a rectangular uh shape or like a box or a cube so if i go to extrude and you can see it automatically knows okay they want to extrude this square and this menu comes up on the bottom right it's called extrude one the very first thing that I want to do is I want to choose my depth. So you can see down towards the bottom, right above draft, right below opposite direction, I can choose my depth, meaning how much do I want to extrude. Right now it's defaulted to one inch. I actually want to make this four inches. So I'm going to type in four, hit the check mark, and now I have it extruded four inches. Once I'm happy with that, I can hit the check mark up at the top. You can see it uh, where it says extrude one. I can hit the check mark. And now I have this um, rectangular block that I just created. I, I started with a square and then I extruded it. Two by two square, extruded it four inches. Now what I can do, since I'm done sketching on this front plane, I can actually make that front plane go away. Um, I'll keep the origin on for now, just in case I need to use it, but you can always turn it off um, by hitting that I, and now it's gone, and you can bring all of these back whenever you want. If you want to bring those back, you can, um, but sometimes they get in the way, so I'm going to turn them off. Next thing I'm going to do now is I want to draw a circle and then cut that circle out. And I want that circle to be right in the middle at the top surface of this uh, rectangular block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a new sketch. The way I make a new sketch, a second sketch, 
is by pressing on that pen tool again, that 2D tool. When I press on that 2D tool, now it's going to say again, hey, if you want to make a new sketch, you have to select a plane, face, or surface. So the very first time we did it, we had to pick front, top, or right side plane. But since we have 3D geometry already, we have geometry on this, um, on this already, we don't have to pick a plane, we can pick a surface instead. And the surface we're going to pick is this top one. Okay, you can see that top surface. I'm going to tap on that. When I do, you can see Sketch 2 is now on the top surface. That's where I'm going to want to eventually draw my circle. The way I'm going to do this is in two parts. The first part is going to be making a point. So we're not going to start with circle. We're instead going to start with point. If you can see kind of where I'm highlighting that. I'm going to tap point. When I do, I'm going to just kind of eyeball it and I'm going to tap right somewhere in the middle of that top surface. Now that point is where I'm going to eventually want to draw or start my circle. But before I do that, I need to place it right in the middle of this block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, use the dimension tool. So I'm going to go back to 2D. Dimensions right over here. Okay, you can see it right here. I'm going to tap on dimension. And now this time, I have to do two taps. I have to dimension from where that point is. And you know what? Just to not confuse us, I'm going to turn off my origin. Turn off my origin. So that blue dot is where I made my point. I'm going to tap that. You can see it turns orange. And then I'm going to tap my edge of my block right there. And you can see now it dimensions from the point to the edge. And it's 1.097. I'm going to tap that. And I'm going to change that to exactly 1. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. Dimension is still active, just like last time. I'm going to tap that center point. I'm going to tap the back edge. And then this one is 1.642. I'm going to change that to 2. Because remember, we extruded it 4, so I want it to be half of that. So it's right in the middle. So now that point is right in the middle. Now I'm ready to draw my circle starting right there. So I'm going to go to my 2D tool again, and I'm going to find center point circle. Center point circle right there. I'm going to tap that. And what I'm going to do is, just like I made my rectangle, I'm going to tap first on where I want it to start, which is going to be that point. And then I'm going to tap and hold and drag. Tap, hold, drag. And I'm going to be able to make a circle. Now that's way too big, so go backward, go inward, so you can make it smaller. Again, we're going to eyeball this. Let go. How do I make it an exact dimension? You guessed it, dimension tool. So I'm going to go back to the pen. I'm going to go to dimension. I'm going to tap that circle. It's going to give me a diameter of 1.274. I'm going to tap that. I'm going to make this 1.25. Check mark. And now I have that circle. Now I want to cut that circle out. You know how we extruded and added 3D? I want to extrude and cut away this cylinder right through the middle of this block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 3D, the sphere up at the top left. I'm going to tap Extrude. And you can see it's so smart. It already knows that I want to extrude that cylinder, that circle. The very first thing, though, it's assuming I want to add. I want to subtract. I want to remove. So this first one, this first option, you can see where it says add result body operation type. Add. I'm going to hit that arrow next to add. And I'm going to instead choose remove. And now you can see that it's starting to remove it. End type, blind, meaning it's just kind of like blindly extruding away. No, I don't want it to be blindly extruding away. I want it to extrude through the entire block. So I'm going to do through all. And once I do that, I am set. I don't need to set a distance or anything. I'm just letting it know, hey, just take it all out. Extrude all the way through the, the part. So now I'm going to hit check mark. And now I have a through hole on this block. Last thing I, I'm going to do now is going to just make it look a little prettier. And the way I'm going to make it look a little prettier is by adding chamfers on all the edges. Now chamfer is under 2D, 
Usually on other programs, it'd probably be under 3D, but for this, it's gonna be under 2D. So I'm gonna to go to that pen. Um, oh, hold on. Am I wrong in saying that? It is, okay, it is under 3D, my bad. So it is under 3D, it's gonna be under the sphere. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be under 2D, but under 3D, we're gonna find that we have a lot more, right? Before, when we only had so much geometry, it knew like we could only do extrude or revolve, but now that we have this entire block available to us, we're not in a sketch or anything like that, it's gonna give us a lot more options. And one of the options here is gonna be chamfer. So you can see chamfer here. I'm gonna tap that, and I'm just gonna go and tap every single edge that I see on here. And you can uh, click or press and move, press and drag your finger and you can orbit around. I'm gonna tap every single edge, every single edge I see. And look, if I use two fingers and drag, I can move this back to the center. If I accidentally click this one, I don't want that to be a chamfer. I just press it again and it goes away. Tap this edge, make sure I'm gonna go around, make sure I got everything. Oh, I'm missing this one. There we go. Yeah, you can do them all at once. So make sure you get every single edge before you hit the check mark over here under chamfer one. So 12 entities selected, that sounds about right. I'm gonna leave the distance of that chamfer to point two, and then I'm gonna hit the check mark. All right, that is it. That is where we're gonna stop. This is what I'd like you to have completed on Onshape. Remember at the very beginning to name it appropriately. Once you're done, it should save automatically. So you can literally just close out of the app or you can hit the back arrow at the very top left, that blue arrow. You can go back, it'll bring you to this menu again. You can go to Created by Me and you're gonna see your block there. You can go to recently open. You'll see that block there. I can open it up again and there it is, okay? That is what I'd like you to work on today. Try to get that done. Okay, we will see you in the next one.